Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. Still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nate it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options for you in a hot car. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? <laughs> so, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, first time out here was for a swap. Stolen diamonds. <laughs> of course. The deal went bad. I got arrested. I'm bribing the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, we hit it off. And I made it a point to come visit every few years. Well, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Sure. Oh, mistake. It wasn't like that for once. He just saw the world in a similar way. Besides, she moved to Brazil. It's been a few years since we've seen each other. Time for a visit. It's a note. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's a pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <clears throat> they figured all that out with paper charts. We'll be right back. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, back in a sec. All right, one sec. Later. Another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. I'm gonna hop out for a look. Bring me back something shiny. <clears throat> What are you doing? Might come in handy. 
What have we here? Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Good buzz off of that one. Check this out. What if that's man made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Anything in that pit? Oh, check it out. Maybe there's something down there. See what's in there. Cool. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. Keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. 
So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. What do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonny. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Hmm, can't get in that way. <laughs> 